Hi guys, welcome to iTechGuideKC.com. My name is Fahim Munir and I'm here to bridge the gap between you and technology. So check this out. How many of you in the past have had this experience where you have some old hard drives, perhaps from like an old laptop or from an old desktop computer, and you're wondering just how in the world do I get my information from these old external hard drives over to my laptop? Well, Bantech has a solution. That solution is the external hard drive to USB adapter. So today I'm gonna to show you how it works. So I'm gonna start off with my first hard drive. This came from an actual Acer Nitro laptop, I believe. I had, had it for about five years. Um, so this is just a regular SATA hard drive. Um, you can see by the interfaces, um, the only prongs you'll see is on this side. However, there's no prongs on this side. So let's hook this bad boy up and see if we can get it going. So with the external hard drive to USB adapter, if you open the box, you'll have one, two, three, four, five different pieces. First things first, always, always, always plug in your power cord. So I'm gonna plug it in right here. And then this side of the power plug just goes right here into the power brick. So once that's plugged in, you will get something that looks like this, plugged into the power brick. And then this side of the um, cord, it should be free. So from here, I am gonna plug in this, this piece right here, the, um, I guess the bigger piece, right here into this side of the power plug. There we go. So this is what you'll get in the end result. And so this piece, the, the cord here, it is gonna plug in right here into the hard drive, into this bigger, uh, sort of longer piece right here. So once you get that plugged in, you'll feel that the hard drive is starting to rumble a little bit. You'll see this green light is on, which means that there's power coming from this power outlet to your hard drive. Uh, two more steps. So you'll see here we have this piece. So this either side is going to plug in to this top side right here. Once that's plugged in, you'll see it standing straight up. And then this side, this other piece is going to plug in right here into this open space of the hard drive. Once that's plugged in, you'll get an end result like this. So we have our, our power plug right here to the power brick. And then we have our connectors. This green light is on, which means that it's indicated. You'll see that on this USB, we're gonna plug this right into the computer right here. So you'll see that red light is lit up, which means that it is fully connected to the computer. And then you'll hear that sound, which means that your files will come now from the hard drive. Now it will show up on your computer. And all you have to do is just transfer it over. So for my second hard drive, we have this one right here, which is a just a regular 2.5 inch hard drive. Um, this actually also came from an Acer laptop um, from 2006. So this was... This was an, or a hard drive for my old uh, college laptop computer. So this one's going to be a whole lot more easier to plug in. You're only going to really need two pieces, which or actually just one piece, I'm sorry, which is just this right here. So to plug this in, you'll see on this piece, you'll, you should see some numbers on there once it focuses here. You'll see a 2.5 at the top right here and also a 3.5 to a 5.25 inch. So that's just the size of the interface of the hard drive. Uh, for this hard drive right here, we're going to use the 2.5 inch. So you'll see that that plugs in like so, the 2.5 inch. It lines right up to those prongs. You'll have a little bit of a space at the end, but you don't have to worry about that. Um, from here, what you just do, plug this right into your USB port on your computer. And so once that's plugged in, you'll see that this red light is lit which means that it is officially being recognized by the computer. Last but not least, we have this final hard drive. This is a 3.5 inch interface. Um, this hard drive actually came from my very first computer that my parents got me, which was a Compact Passario desktop computer. So for this, to hook up this laptop, we're gonna need um, a few pieces here. So of course we're gonna need our power brick. So again, I'm gonna plug this in right here into my power brick. And then I'm gonna plug this part, which comes again from the power brick, to 
this side, as you can see it right there, that part of the hard drive. So if you can hear that humming, that means that there is power now getting to this hard drive. Uh, now you'll see this, some hard drives, they have this, um, this jumper thing right here, that, that white little thing right there. Um, always take that out, otherwise um, the whole process will not work. So I'm gonna pop that out real quick. Last but not least, we are gonna use this again. So instead of the 2.5, which we used on the last hard drive, we're gonna use now the, this side that says the 3.5 to 5.25 inch. So I'm gonna plug this in right here into the hard drive. Once that's plugged in, the final step, just to make sure it connects to the laptop, we're gonna use this part, of course, to put it inside your USB uh, connector. So let me flip that around and put that in the USB port, I'm sorry. So this is the, the end product. So we, of course we have our outlet to the power brick. Green's indicating that there's power getting to the hard drive. This red light means that the hard drive is now being recognized to the computer. So that is a simple way how you can get all of your information from old desktop or laptop hard drives to your computer. Again, this is a, the official name is the SATA slash IDE to USB 2.0 adapter. Looks like it's being sold by Amazon for about uh, $18 to $20. So it's a really good deal. Um, again, this video is not sponsored by them, but again, a very good deal to have. My name is Fahim with iTechGuideKC.com. For more guides, check out my website, check out my YouTube channel, contact me. Take care.